peace love and light i hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're living in your greatest purpose let's get into your messages this message is for scorpios scorpios checking to see what is showing up in your energy uh this temperance is showing up first and foremost that's like the first thing that comes out is this temperance and it's like here to remind you of something to remind you of your power to remind you that um the concerns that you have regarding your finances whatever concerns you have regarding your abundance your stability um first and foremost your spirit guides are wanting you to know that everything is taken care of okay everything is taken care of for you um i'm also seeing that the number five is significant the planet mercury communication um you're being watched over okay this is what your spirit guides are wanting you to know at this time you're being watched over you're being protected at this time queen of pentacles temperance i'm also seeing that the divine is saying that all aspects having to do with divine feminine energy nurturance abundance fertility um the divine masculine okay many of you matters of a relationship you're being protected at this time as well mm -hmm. okay so four of cups mm-hmm King of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups. This Four of Cups. Hmm. The Divine is, this is uh, a reminder. See, Queen of Pentacles. Ah, okay. Someone wants what you have. Someone wants what you have. Someone, for whatever reason, th doesn't think that they could do it. Um, they want what you have. It's like this Four of Cups person, whoever this is, is looking at... Um, it's looking at the queen of pentacles like oh i wish i had that you know they someone wishes that they could possess this those characteristics that make you the queen of pentacles that makes you abundant and i'm also seeing that there's something that this person sees regarding uh that temperance that showed up too like all aspects that's showing up for this queen of pentacles um everything that this person sees that is before you it's like they want what you have okay that's what's showing up with this four of cups like someone wants that that thing that thing that thing that thing hmm. king of wands that thing that you have mm-hmm king of wands <laughs> Or is this, is this about a king of wands? 
it almost seems like it almost seems like this person sees that you have some some king of wands energy that they want and this king of wands energy is associated with this knight of pentacles like they see all of this in you like you in in this energy of royalty in the energy of like you're not just a regular person you're not just some <laughs> what is it that they say some joe schmo you're just you're not just anyone someone knows that you're you're not your average person scorpios this person knows that you are not average and you're not an average person they see all aspects in you and you're not someone that like it's like this this quiet energy it's a quiet it's a quiet power that you possess queen of pentacles king of wands like this queen of pentacles like she's very she's confident she's not boasting okay and yet you see that king of wands energy that walks with this queen of pentacles is very powerful it's like behind you is a powerful very powerful creative energy it's a powerful um it's a and it's an energy of leadership it's an energy of um like one of those like oh you know you can't be after with it's like not only is it you that like <laughs> all aspects of you okay what they see before them and also what is all the forces that are walking behind you is what this person sees like this queen of pentacles is abundant like financially like nurturing mother like she's very confident not boastful she's just about her business she's a businesswoman uh she's in tune with nature this describes you all right and it's like when they look at you on the surface this is what they see and for whatever reason this person who seems to feel like they want what you have this person also sees what a lot of people may not see or they they see the spiritual side of you and i'm seeing this king of wands energy is that spiritual side of you that magical side of you that very powerful side of you that makes you the leader that you are that makes you this creative like powerful force and it's like behind even behind this there's something else behind that which is this lioness energy this segment energy this warrior energy like they see you they see all aspects of you and this person whoever is watching you whoever is you know in this energy of the four of cups they want what you have or they wish they could have it it's like it's like this person like their energy is showing up like this it almost seems like this person is confused it's like they don't like you yet they want to be you they don't like you yet they want to have what you have they want what you have they don't like you yet they want what you have and perhaps it's because it's because they feel like what you have is unattainable it's unreachable it's like beyond them what you have is beyond them okay what you have is beyond them they want it they want it they they want it knight of pentacles see this knight of pentacles is like is backing up this knight of wands so whatever you're doing keep doing it because it's like there's you have so many layers you have so many layers to to you you're a mystery you you make so many wonder how you do what you do um your layers like really make people in general wonder and 
I'm seeing here this person that's showing up in particular wonders how it is that you do what you do three of wands this is you looking at the horizon like for 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 the, many of you this three of wands signifies like you doing your thing you making things happen i'm also seeing that the divine is pointing out uh you being a chosen one you being part of some kind of like spirit tribe of some sort being like divinely marked like you have the markings you have the markings of this of this spirit spirit tribe that's showing up for you and and this is part of what this person sees like they're just like it's really kind it's really an effed up energy <laughs> regarding this person because it's like on the one hand they want what you have it's different energies on the one hand they want what you have they're wondering why they didn't get it um they're wondering why it had to be you they have a lot of questions when it comes to you they have so many questions when it comes to you ah spare tribe indeed they see you they see you as being part of something that's not of this world okay this is what i'm getting like they they see you as being someone that is outer worldly someone that is not of this world they see this in you and it's like it's like you ever see those like movies about you know these these aliens that come in human form i'm getting this energy that that's you like you're you're an outer worldly being you have connections to outer worldly being and there's someone that sees this and if you like if you watch these movies closely right whenever there's an outer worldly being that comes on planet earth what tends to happen to them and here you are okay here you are this is why this temperance showed up with this queen of pentacles in the very beginning you are an outer worldly being okay having an experience on earth having an earthly experience and as it relates to this movie that's like the analogy that's showing up the divine is you know showing you and the divine has always shown you how you know the the human population feels about folks and entities and energies that are out of this world like they want to know they want to know what you know because your crown chakra is like extraordinary it's it's divine it's it's something else it's it's something that they marvel at and not only do they want to know what you know okay the divine is saying if you pay attention to these movies about outer worldly beings it's like the human population is always trying to dissect these beings that are not like those from planet earth okay and this is the vibe this is the energy that this person sees like they see you this this cosmic being this outer worldly being that they just want to dissect and the only way they're going to know what you know they're never gonna know what you know they're never gonna see what you see they're never gonna speak how you speak they're never gonna love how you love what you're capable of doing they will not be able to do the feelings that you have okay the the your sacral chakra what you are in tune to hmm <coughs> oh ashe what you are in tune to confirmation the connection that you have to your 
spirit being, your spirituality, the connection that you have to the cosmos, most will never understand. They will never overstand. And this is part of why this person is like kind of like sitting here with the one hand out hoping and wanting you know that whatever you have will fall on their lap or fall in their cup and they will possess it you represent this rainbow right here that's very close to them yet so far that they're not able to reach you have qualities about you that most don't understand they will never understand they're not meant to this is part of the reason why it's like this person feels like it, it's showing this energy that's showing up. It's like the person, this person wants to dissect you. They want to flip you. They want to turn you. They want to open you up. They want to see what's in your mind. It's like, and then the, the more questions they have about you, the more confused they become. The more confused they become because they they begin to realize the more questions they have about you they become a lot more clear that you're just not from here the qualities that you possess are not earthly qualities you have some connection that most will never understand. You have connection to the cosmos that most are, they will never understand. They're not meant to because you belong. You are part of a spirit tribe. You have a divine connection to the cosmos that most will never understand. They're not meant to understand it. Yep. They can look as much as they want. They can do as many spells as they want. They can do as many rituals as they want. They can contact or try to contact those spirit beings that are connected to you as much as they want. They will only be turned upside down and whatever it is that they think they have gotten about you will be drained from their minds. <laughs> Because they're not meant to hold the power that you have. They're not meant to take hold that power that the universe allows you to grasp. It's not for everyone. Because many would surely abuse it if they truly, truly overstood it. If they understood it. And this is part of why they stay watching. They stay watching. They stay doing all types of stuff, trying to create scenarios, uh, you know, that will put them as close to your energy as they they could possibly get. And whatever it is, like no matter how much of it that they do, no matter how much of it they try, 18, 18, 9, 9, it always brings them back to the beginning because they never get to the point where they reach this cosmic consciousness this cosmic level of consciousness hmm. every time they try To overstand sacred geometry, the very thing that connects the dots. They're trying to connect the dots to reach that level that you reach. They've even literally, you know, that string I'm seeing it represents them trying to, you know, connect to that power, connect to the information that you you that connection that you have they're them trying to connect to it every time they try they they're not able to reach it because there's something that makes you victorious there's something that makes you powerful and whatever that is 
that they're looking for, they search for, they seek for, it always leads them to confusion because your level of consciousness is not meant to be reached by everyone. Mm -hmm. Because every time they try, they, they get into this mode of like scratching their heads and, you know, feeling like, oh, they're frustrated. They just can't seem to get it. And then a lot of them, you know, end up using all types of like magic spells and you know curses and stuff like that to draw your energy to them and they they never they're never able to get to that point they're never able to get to that point and it's like every time they think they've reached the level that you've reached the divine seems to draw them back to zero okay the divine se always seems to draw them back to zero and it leads them back into this energy of like scratching their heads and being frustrated because they they can't do what you do they're not meant to you're you and i'm me we're not even from the same planet man we're not from the same planet look at look at my mind and yours okay we're not of the same planet look at that mind energy this mind that you have is <laughs> it, it brings revelations okay it brings revelations it it creates changes it literally creates planets and they're like trying to figure out okay well how does scorpio do it how does scorpio do it you have your own routine. You have your own strategies. Okay? That most will never understand. They're not meant to. And the divine wants you to draw back to the beginning. Where you are being reminded. You were being reminded that you are taken care of. That all your needs are met. Okay, this is you being in a state of homeostasis, in a state of balance, because you have this connection to the cosmos, to your spirit beings that put you at ease, that gives you a certain knowing that many continue to seek. And this person, whoever they be, whoever they is, Okay. For many of you, this may be a um, this may be a feminine energy actually. This may be some kind of like a I'm seeing it may be a feminine energy of some sort. Hmm. This person you get to know that this person actually sees that you're more than one person. It's like you're 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 <laughs> every time they look, they see someone different. Like you, you know, you're like three people in one, sometimes five, sometimes seven. Like every time they look, you're someone different. And it confuses them. It really confuses them. Look at that. It confuses the mess out of them okay some of you they have no idea how it is that you're able to be in both a masculine and feminine energy you've got these qualities in you where you're able to tap in and tune in to both masculine and feminine energy and some folks are like ooh mm-hmm I'm going to go there. I am going to go there. Let's see. <clears throat> and look at what wanted to come out when I'm trying to like, you know, clarify this four of cups. Mm. Someone's also um, coming to the realization 
this 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 energy of the judgment card they're realizing that they can never have what you have they will never know what you know they will never be you okay that's that judgment part that's showing up before before we even ask and i'm really getting for many of you like this could be another water sign in this, this four of cups energy can you tell us anything else about this four of cups Mm. Yeah, someone's struggling to make progress and they're mm -hmm. someone's struggling. You could be dealing with um, an air sign that's struggling to kind of like, you know, move forward. And it, there's however this air sign is connected to this reading. Um it could be that this is the same person that sees what you have and they want what you have. They see how you do things and they want to use your methods type of thing. Yes, it could it could be that person that's showing up. And it's like they see you in this King of Wands inner she inner she. Okay, inner she. They see your inner she okay so whatever this king of wands possesses that leadership is typically shown in the masculine energy um and i'm hearing something about an inner she and inner feminine powers which was which was that connection uh to that feminine energy that showed up in the beginning so someone actually sees how powerful you are how powerful of a of of an energy that you have and it's like you're able to switch you're able to become whoever that you want like at one moment you could be in your masculine like masculine power another minute you could be in your feminine power like look at that see you see that balance that yin yang that's what's showing up and i'm seeing that depending on where they see you what time of day it is what month what you know what season it's like you become you they see something different depending on what you manifesting they see something different and this is what is like like literally ooh, page of swords look at that this thing literally just fell down they're watching you they're watching you they're watching you and wondering how you do what you do how is it that you're able to maintain this feminine, you know, this this feminine energy and be in your masculine? And just as we speak, literally, this four of cups card just went face down. So the divan is about to blind your enemies, those that make it their business to keep watching you. It's either your enemies are going to be blinded and or it's like your uh the divine is going to be putting a veil over their eyes so that way they can stop they they can you know they can stop watching <laughs> and and it's like the divine is saying listen you know if you can't mind your business and really like mind your business and you make it your business to be concerned oh look at that just as we said blinded this card just came down yep the divine is about to blind them because look at that and this just showed up i'm getting for many of you you get to know for many of you the only way that you're going to be able to progress and this may actually be happening that the divine is blinding your enemies in order for you to proceed forward peacefully uninterrupted because this is what also showed up like these cards are just literally just flipping down this is what's showing up okay you need to go about your business do your work manifest look at that eight eight this is all about manifestation this is what needs to happen like it's like the divine is saying listen you 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 over here minding 
too much of of you know somebody else's business okay They watching. <laughs> yeah, they doing too much. They're doing too much. So it's like the divine is saying we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to like you know sit you down and 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 put you face down because like it this is getting to be at at a point where it's like the divine is saying that. Them trying to constantly interrupt you is going to cause them to be put in a position where they're going to have to be bound in order for you to continue on some path because the path that you're continuing on is one where you will and shall not be interrupted by anyone. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Look at this, y'all. Seven, seven. Energy of spiritual perfection. The divine is telling you to honor your light. And this is exactly what showed up. You as this light that someone is like, it's like you're the light that is too blind for them to see. And yet they still, oh, okay. Your spiritual team is saying to you, you are this powerful light that they have tried to see for quite some time. And they have yet to figure out how to open up their eyes and see because every time they try to open their eyes, they're, they're, they're finding that you're too bright and yet they persist on, on staring at this light that is bright. They're eventually going to be blinded because they refuse to listen to the words of the divine telling them that this is the sun here. How is it that you won't open your eyes and keep staring at this thing? Okay. And think that you ain't going to be blinded. Okay. Here they is. Yes, is. Steady. Eyes open. Steady. Watching. Steady. Trying to understand how it is that this sun shines so bright. They're going to have to be blinded. 7-7 seven, seven represents spiritual perfection and this light that you possess that you're showing up as. Okay, the divine is telling you to honor your light. Keep shining bright. N don't dim your light. Okay, don't dim your light. In fact, the divine is saying they tried to dim your light only because they were trying to see. They were trying to watch. They were trying to overstand and they have yet to figure out how to see you they keep persisting and so many of them are going to be blinded because they refuse okay you are a light bearer your sole purpose is to redress the presence of darkness on this planet through shining the light you are meant to do this in the ways that feel most uplifting to you. What brings brightness to your spirit? Do those things. How can you create a loving legacy to remind others of the light? Exploring and expressing the light in ways that remind others to seek light is also a way to fulfill your divine destiny. Your light is powerful. Use it. People around you, perhaps even you, can sometimes get caught up in the troubles of the world and forget to focus on the light and their own creative power. Let's say that again. People around you, perhaps even you, can sometimes get caught up in the troubles of the world and forget to focus on the light and their own creative power. Gently but persistently remind yourself and others to ask for divine help. This can be done according to each individual's belief system. You're a light worker, a light bearer, 
one who is divinely designed to receive and transmit light for the benefit of humankind and Mother Earth. <sighs> the divine is telling you that you came on this earth to transmit light for the benefit of humankind. You have more influence in situations to bring about divine conclusions than you may realize. Don't be afraid to use your light and always possible. All right. This light that you have, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. That light that you possess, it will not be dimmed. See, many have tried to dim that light because it was the only way that they could watch you. It was the only way that they could keep tabs on you. That light that you have was too bright. It wasn't even letting them watch you because it was too powerful. They couldn't see you as a result of that. So there's different things that are going to happen. One, your enemies began to be... Your enemies were showing up as being face down. Many of them are going to be literally... Their heads are going to be brought down because they cannot look at you no longer your light is too bright for many of you this means that they're going to be blinded whatever that means okay from your spirit guides they're gonna have to be it's like they're gonna have to be put on time out the divine will remove them out of the way so that way they will not be able to see you Okay, if they persist on trying to, you know, stare, on trying to, you know, kind of like be this nosy neighbor. And many of you, this is exactly what's showing up. All right. That, 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 those close to you, the, the neighbors next door, whoever they are. Okay. The divine will remove them out of the way because it's like they have an obsession. We're trying to figure out you <laughs> you are the subject of of their their attention it's like your their attention is focused on you all right that is the word of the divine if this message resonates and the divine is also saying your light is going to be bringing some hidden blessings that that that's the reason why some of these folks keep watching they keep trying to figure you out. They keep trying to dim your light because that's the only way that they can understand you. All right. And so some of them have to be moved out of the way. They're going to have to be blinded. Blinded means different things. They will move. They will move out of the way. They will be put out of the way. Literally. Okay. So this is the message for you. If it resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time. Love, peace, divine light.